Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the flyweight bout between CJ Vergara versus Vinicius Salvador. And how I feel about some right here is I'm going average confidence um, CJ Vergara to beat Vinicius Salvador. Um, I just feel like, yeah, I said CJ Vergara, average confidence to beat um, Vinicius Salvador. And yeah, I feel like... Um, did he not just have the same exact fight? Did he not? Did CJ Vergara just not have the same exact fight? Um, kind of a fight with a lot of steam on them. Not like as far as like on a winning track. Like, oh, this guy's on such a steam. But like in the track that the guy, you know, is uh, strong in the first round, maybe strong in the first half, a lot of power, but not the best conditioning and not the best fight IQ, not the best um, cardio management type of fighter. No, it's pretty much the same guy he fought in his last fight. Except this guy maybe got a little bit more power in his hands. Maybe doesn't gas out as consistently in the second round or as hard in the second round. Doesn't mix it up as much on the feet, though. Kind of like more so just a guy with hands. You know, he got kicks as well, but doesn't use them as much. He's more so a puncher. Versus that's when, you know, would do more dynamic striking, punches, kicks, um, wheel kicks and whatnot. But was a, a one-round phenom. I'm not going to say phenom, but a one-round one round chump, I guess. Like that's what he was, and that, I'm not saying something too much different. So he getting the same matchup again, but all to say he still almost got finished in that first round. So you kind of got to factor that. And also, Vigari is a slow starter, but it's kind of again the same case. You got Vigari who's a slow starter. He's going there yet again with a, a fast starter, slow starter, but gets stronger as it goes on. And he's tough, so he's not like a slow starter that's you know going to get folded over. He's a slow starter, but he's tough enough to make it out there and then drown the guy that's the quick starter. And I think the same exact thing here. I think it'll probably be like a... This is probably going to lean more to a decision, maybe, or more likely than the other one, because I got he fought in the last fight just completely just gasses out. So finishes are there. I don't think this guy gasses out is hard, and he still has fight in him beyond those rounds, but his pace definitely drops significantly. So I definitely could see, could see um, CJ Vergara stopping him. And I'm probably going to lean to a stoppage. Mm, and I'm going to say I'm going to say decision. I'm going to say decision. I ain't going to lean to stop. I'm going to lean to decision. But, um... Yeah, lean the decision. Good start for um, Vinicius Salvador, but CJ Vergara, typical, typical, typical form, comes on strong after that first round, and Salvador dips off. And I think um, CJ Vergara outworked through the, the second. I mean, the second and third probably hurts him, come close to finishing him. But Salvador's gonna be able to stick in there, hold his ground, but get outworked and ultimately lose a decision based off those next two rounds. If and he could possibly win all three rounds. But I'm definitely kind of leaning to him winning the first and losing the second and third. So in this one, I have C.J. Vergara via decision. 